Hey world, let's talk about linked lists. A linked list is a collection of nodes that contain data and are connected in sequence by pointers. The nodes are dynamically allocated, accessed, and deleted, so the list can grow or shrink as a program runs. Let's compare linked lists and arrays. A linked list is made of different chunks of memory linked together by pointers. Let's suppose this grid is memory, and each pink blob is data. This is how a linked list will look in memory. Arrays are made of single contiguous pieces of memory, so the array will look like this in the grid, where all the pink blobs are right after the other. With a linked list, inserting and deleting is faster and simpler by moving pointers. To remove a node, we move the pointer of the previous node to the successor node. To insert a node, the previous node points to the new node and the new node points to the next node. With arrays, inserting and deleting is expensive because all items need to be moved. To delete an item, we have to shift every item after the deleted one. To insert an item, if the array is full, we'd have to create a new array and copy all of the elements plus a new one into the new array. Relative disadvantages. Linked lists require extra space for storing pointers per node. Since the nodes are scattered around memory, you have to store a pointer per node to keep track of the list. With arrays, you only store data per item because you already know where the next item is. Another relative disadvantage is that there is no efficient random access to items. In a linked list, to access an item, you need to traverse, which means you start at the head of the list and go through the entire list while doing some processing at each node. With arrays, all you need is an index to access an item. The structure of a linked list. Each node contains data, and each node has at least a pointer to another node. It also has a pointer to null at the end of the list, and a pointer to the head of the list. Let's go over some code examples. You can check out the code in my GitHub account if you'd like to follow along. First, I create a structure that represents a single node in the list. The node contains the string that I want to store and the pointer to a successor node of the same type. Now I'm ready to create a linked list. When I create the first node, I store the nickname and set the successor pointer to null since it's the last node of the list. Then, I create a second node. Since the second node is the new end of the list, I set the successor pointer to null and point the first node to the second node. This is a simple two-node linked list. Let's go over some basic operations. Let's start with traversing. In this function, I pass a pointer to the head of the list and the position of the node I'm trying to find. Then, I iterate through the list, and if the counter matches the number of the position, I have found the node that I was looking for. If not, I go to the next node until I find it. Let's try appending and inserting nodes. In this function, I pass the head of the list, the nickname I want to store, and the position I want to store it in. If the position is the first in the list, I create the new node, set a successor pointer to the head, and set the node as a new head. If the position is not the first in the list, then I iterate through the list with a counter and find the insertion point of the new node. When found, I create the new node, set a successor pointer to the iterator successor node, and the iterator successor pointer to the new node. If the position is at the end of the list, then I create the new node, set a successor pointer to null, and the iterator successor pointer to the new node. Deleting nodes. In this function, I create a pointer to keep track of the current node and a pointer to keep track of the current node's predecessor. I iterate through the list, and when I find the position of the node I want to delete, I set the previous node's successor to the successor of the node I am about to delete. Then I delete the node from memory. Destroying the list. In this function, I iterate through the list and delete one node at a time. That way, I release all the memory used by the list. Let's talk about doubly linked lists. Doubly linked lists have two pointers per node, one to the predecessor and one to the successor. Another variation is a circular linked list. In this list, all the nodes are linked in a continuous circle, and the last node points to the first node. The time complexity to access or search for a node in a linked list is O n. Once you've traversed the list, inserting or deleting the node is only O1. The space complexity is O n. Fun fact! 1. Merge sort is a great algorithm for sorting linked lists because it does not rely on random access to elements. 
and the space complexity of merge sort changes to O1 when using linked lists. Two, the standard namespace has a list class, and it is a doubly linked list. Use that. Thanks for watching! Like, comment, and subscribe! Computer science!